Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about types of placenta in mammal. In our last lecture, we have talked about structure and function of placenta. If you wish, you can check that video. Link is in the description box. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. We can classify placenta in four different ways. Based on degree of intimacy, placenta is of three types. Based on types of implantation, placenta is of three types. Based on distribution of chorionic villi, placenta is of five types. Based on Degree of involvement of fetal and maternal tissues, placenta is of five types. We will talk about them one by one. Based on degree of intimacy, there are three types of placenta. Non-deciduous placenta, deciduous placenta and contra-deciduous placenta. Non-deciduous placenta or semi-placenta. In non-deciduous placenta, the implantation is superficial. Superficial means near the surface. In this case, the blastocyst lies in the uterine cavity. During the attachment with the uterine wall, the blastocyst surface generates finger-like projections called chorionic villi that penetrate into the uterine wall and are loosely united. Since the chorionic villi do not fuse with the endometrium, that means the innermost wall of the uterus, this type of placenta is also called semi-placenta. At birth, uterine tissue is not damaged and does not cause bleeding. The chorionic villi are simply withdrawn from the uterine wall. This is found in most mammals such as cattle, horse, pig, etc. Deciduous placenta or placenta vera. Decidua means to shed. In deciduous placenta, the implantation is more intimate compared to non-deciduous placenta. In this case, the chorionic villi are complicated, branched and intimately connected with the endometrium. Since the chorionic villi Fuse with the endometrium, this type of placenta is also called true placenta or placenta vera. Vera means true. At birth, uterine tissue is also pulled out with the shedding of blood. This is found in primate, rodent, cat, dog, etc. Contradeciduous placenta. In contradeciduous placenta, the implantation is intimate, but both the maternal tissue as well as fetal portion of placenta get turned off and are absorbed by mother's leukocytes after the delivery. This is found in paramels and talpa. Based on types of implantation, there are three types of placenta. Superficial placenta, eccentric placenta and interstitial placenta. Superficial or central placenta. In superficial or central placenta, the embryo is superficially attached with the uterine wall. In this case, the embryo 
remains within the lumen of the uterus just like this this is the lumen of the uterus and the embryo is here so it is in the lumen of the uterus this is found in cow pig sheep rabbit cat dog etc eccentric placenta in eccentric placenta the embryo lies within the uterine fold just like this this is the epithelial fold of uterine wall later the epithelial fold encloses the embryo almost completely this is found in rat mouse squirrel etc interstitial placenta in interstitial placenta the embryo burrows into the uterine mucosa below the epithelium and becomes surrounded completely by the endometrial tissue of the uterus this is found in man chimpanzee bat guinea pig etc based on distribution of chorionic villi there are five types of placenta diffused placenta cotyledonary placenta zonary placenta discoidal placenta and metadiscoidal placenta diffused placenta in diffused placenta chorionic villi are numerous and are uniformly scattered over the chorion this is found in pig horse etc cotyledonary placenta in cotyledonary placenta chorionic villi are aggregated in certain regions to form small tufts the remaining part of the chorion surface remains smooth this is found in deer sheep cattle etc zonary placenta in zonary placenta chorionic villi are developed in form of a belt or a band around the middle of the embryo this is found in cat dog seal etc discoidal placenta in discoidal placenta the chorionic villi are arranged in a circular plate on the dorsal surface of embryo this is found in rabbit bat rat mouse deer etc metadiscoidal placenta in metadiscoidal placenta the chorionic villi are at first scattered all over the chorion but later becomes restricted to one or two discs a single disc or monodiscoidal type is found in man two discs or bidiscoidal type are found in monkey based on degree of involvement of fetal and maternal tissues there are five types of placenta epithelio corial placenta syndesmo corial placenta endothelio corial placenta hemo corial placenta and hemo endothelial placenta okay epithelio corial placenta the epithelio corial placenta involves six tissue barriers between the fetal and maternal circulation what are the six tissue barriers first is endothelium of fetal blood vessel second is chorionic connective tissue third is chorionic epithelium these three are the parts of fetal placenta and then the fourth layer is uterine epithelium fifth layer is endometrial connective tissue 
and the last layer is endothelium of maternal blood vessel these three are parts of maternal placenta so there are six tissue barriers between the fetal and maternal circulation this is found in pig horse cattle etc next is syndesmochorial placenta the syndesmochorial placenta involves five tissue barriers between the fetal and maternal circulation in this case the uterine epithelium is lost this is found in sheep giraffe deer etc endothelochorial placenta the endothelochorial placenta involves four tissue barriers between the fetal and maternal circulation in this case the uterine epithelium and endometrial connective tissue are lost this is found in cat dog bear etc hemochorial placenta the hemochorial placenta involves three tissue barriers between the fetal and maternal blood in this case uterine epithelium endometrial connective tissue and endothelium of maternal blood all are lost here the chorionic epithelium is birthed directly in the maternal blood this is found in primate bat mole shrew etc hemoendothelial placenta the hemoendothelial placenta involves only a single tissue barrier between the fetal and maternal circulation here the fetal blood vessel is birthed directly in the maternal blood this is found in rabbit mouse rat guinea pig etc if you want the pdf notes of this topic please check the description box or the first pin comment hope you liked the lecture thank you